Hi guys, um, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Martin from Nabotech TV, from Nabotech The Future Now. Thank you yet again for joining me in this um, tutorial where I show you how to connect and link this um, EGEN non-neutral um, smart switch, smart um, touch light switch. Yeah, it's one of um, one of the latest cost-effective. Um, in the in recent years, we've struggled um, with houses um, whereby um, that, that that were never prepped for inevitability of of, of 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 installing smart switches, because we know that um, in these switches they need a neutral um, for them to, to 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 operate. So. We thank you, each and for coming up with, uh, with such a good product. It's a beautiful project. I mean, it's very nice on the eye, especially for the wives and, uh, you know, the, the major stakeholders in the house. They love, you know, the slickness of, 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 of the design. It's just glass-like. Um, it's, 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 yes, it's, it's, it's good on the eye. I mean, I wish they had, like, different um, um, designs, but uh, I'm happy with this one. I've installed a couple of these, and I haven't had any complaints. Um, I was a bit skeptic at first, but uh, as we went along, I, I realized that it was um, a good product and uh, it's quite reliable. So basically, it's 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 a non non neutral. Um, it's like when you're in a in a house that has, has got an old installation, or we've got one of the latest builds where the electricians didn't put a um, a neutral. You only have the the life. And the return that's usually how they do it they just the, the live comes in and then the neutral is done on the roof so this has been a breakthrough just so that everyone is included in, in this um, um, automation uh, search so yeah it's, it's quite a good product I'm happy with it uh, my clients are happy with it I haven't had any complaints yeah so join me as I go through this uh, tutorial I hope you enjoy don't forget to like and subscribe Ah, there is the capacitor so you can see there, there is our switch it's a beautiful switch look it, it comes in white and black obviously it's gloss as well so you could this one is uh, it's, it's a three gang as you can see it's quite um, yeah it's good on the eye so usually before you install you have to take out um, the glass at the top but uh, for connections you can see here um, you've got the live and then you've got the L1 you've got the L2 the L3 which are, are the loads or the returns um, the way you, you you connect this is you usually you from the the best practice is to install this capacitor on the roof usually on the on, on the light if you have one light or if you have down lights is to just pick one of the lights and uh, connect um, across the, the return, which will be like the live, um, the live return from the switch and the neutral that obviously that comes into the switch. Then you install it across. Yep. Um, as you can see um, in the box, um, you, you, you got this uh, manual. Um, like you, you get all the information essentially if you you're quite familiar with this electronic and elect um, electrical stuff um you get you got the precautions you got the instructions and the most importantly you got the the, the schematic um, um, installation wiring, wiring and diagram so it's just a straightforward but you need to be very careful because you got um you got your lights which is which are your lords your returns it's, this one is a three gang so you have the, the, the life that comes into the box. Um, and you remember that on the box, you just have the, 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 the life that comes in and the returns that go, that go back to the lodge. Let's say you got a light in the dining. You got another light in the, in the kitchen and another light in the lounge. So you have those lots, um, depending on how the, the design is for that particular house. So the most important thing here is the, the capacitor. That capacitor needs to go to the, the the simplest way is just to locate. If you have down down lights, you need to locate. Um, you don't have to locate, man. You just look, just take out the, the the down light or take out the light, and install this capacitor parallel. Parallel. When I say parallel, I mean across. 
one on the live which happens to be the return which is the l1 from um, from the from the switch and then the other one goes to the neutral which um the, the neutral didn't make its way to the box that's why we bought this switch um to to to, to have the solution uh, to get the house automated so basically that's the wiring diagram so yeah let's go um, into the next stage where we, we we do the connections and see how it works this is obviously from the db and then we've got our life which goes straight um to to the light so this is this is the switch obviously then we've got um Then we just do the we install our our life. Okay. And nothing is powered on, so I'm pretty safe. So yeah, there, there you go. Then this our neutral obviously it doesn't come down. Already it's by the light, so that's the that's the it, that's usually the, the switch on the wall. Yep. So that's our live coming in. Then this is our return. We'll put it on L1. That's our first light. L2 can be the, as I said, now we're connecting our, our lounge. Oh, sorry. That's, that's the return. So the return, obviously, it goes. I'll just use the block connector, this block. Then obviously, I'll just connect this. This is this is the light. This this is by the light. Then I'll just put. It, um, obviously, that's my return. So I'll put it there. Now it's on the light, then where's my light? There we go. So remember, this is the neutral coming from the DB. Then now we got the return. This is by the light, this is the light, remember? This is the light. So there we go. So now what we're left with? So before we do that, obviously, uh, from, from the way it's, it's going to work out, I mean, before that, let's say this was an on-off switch, the, the, the manual switch, click, click. It is uh, going to be like this. I mean, we have our neutral there. Already we put on our switch, then everything comes on. But now um, we need to put the capacitor to, 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 to do its work of completing the circuit. Um, I cannot get uh, to the depth of that, but it, because the video is just to show you how to connect it. Then um, I'll just like obviously take out um, that uh, the return here. Take the. Remember this is across in in parallel. So there is my. Uh, I'll take the return. That, that that's the light. That's the light. Remember. Then I take the neutral, both neutrals. Then I put in. There we go. So this is across the light. That's that's my neutral coming from the light circuit and then I put my neutral obviously to put it together for safety I put it on the block here just to get it there we go and then I've got my return live from the switch remember then I put it there come on don't know what I'm doing what I'm doing then I put it there lock just lock here so there we go Just like the, like this illustration, I've got my. Uh, this is from the from the DB. I've got my neutral that goes straight to the light. So the neutral comes in and then comes into the light. There's the light, and then I've got uh, the live that goes straight to the switch. Remember the switch doesn't have um, neutral, so it's just a live that goes in. Then then the return from the switch, because you used to have the the on and on. Um, manual switch then it goes there then it goes to the light so the circuit is complete so the only thing that we need to do now is to turn this over just to test now um, there we go it goes click um, that's how it it, it, it behaves on, 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 on first um, when you power up everything 
So you can see um, that uh, you can see that uh, the, the lights are flashing. They are already on the latest firmware. What it does already is it's it's it's, it's on uh, it's on pairing mode. That's my tester. The tester is is. is Can see now it's still flashing. My e link is powering up. Then I go to that's, um, I, 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 that plus sign to pair. Uh, the compatible settings here. Uh, but remember that's the next step. But the the quick set up mode. This one works for me because what I usually do, I just go to the quick mode. I don't go to add one device. I usually go to add multiple devices. Then I put all devices on discovery mode. And then I just um, remember you have to call your phone needs to be connected to the Wi-Fi network and the Wi-Fi network bear in mind you're supposed to be on the 2.4 gigahertz um, and bandwidth no not the 5 gig just make sure you do that on your like when you discover the Wi-Fi make sure you connect uh, to, to, to the SSID that says 5G then you could go there no no sorry man not 5G but 2.4 um, 2.4 um, Gigs. You can see it is 2.4 gigahertz. They make it very clear. It won't work on the five um, on the five uh, on the five gig. You can see that it says it. Read all these instructions. They will help you out. Otherwise, you spend the whole day trying to to link up your your devices to no avail. With some of the high end um, Wi-Fi networks like the Ubiquiti, some they don't show on their on their on their when they populate on the Wi-Fi setup. So you better talk to your IT guy or you, if you are the one, just make sure you check the settings. If it's if, if I um 2.4 gig and 5G are binded together or like some settings are tweaked because sometimes it becomes a mission for you to connect. Then you just go on. Is remember it's on discovery mode. I, I let's check here. No, it's not. It's no longer on discovery mode, so I'll, I'll, I'll press it for more than um, six seconds. Now it's, you can see it's flicking three times. I think it's still on discovery mode. Don't cough. So now you can see it's already discovered one device. After that, after the discovery, I just go there and just say next. You can see that you can either give it a name already um, so that you don't um, 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 forget because you might be having a lot of them but if yeah then if 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 it's if if if, if it was an auto di uh, discover of plenty just don't don't give it a name just may go go to the app after discovery and then you switch on and off um the lights so they can give it uh, the location i'll just give this one a name called test or t it doesn't matter man t i do oh, no. what am i doing let's say go to test and then I just say save. Okay, done. Go. Usually it becomes the first at the top. Then you can um, just um, try it to see if it works. Uh, that's on channel three. So that's channel three. You can see it's coming on. It's working. Um, then from there, the best thing that you need to do make sure that you you you, you upgrade your firmware. Um, because it has already prompted you, prompted you. Then, yeah, that's basically it. Um, everything is done. And then uh, I'll just do the firmware update. And, um, yeah. And then uh, you do your firmware update. There we go. So, yeah, we can just go back again and see if um, um, it works. Uh, we go to our demo slide. It, it works. It's working 100%. Um, we're happy about that. Now we can check with, uh, with uh, you know, Google. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me in this tutorial. I hope um, it adds value to your installation. I hope um, this helps you out um, in your installation. I hope it's as clear as possible. If you need to add something, just like 
jump into the comment and uh, you know you know what to do and also please guys um subscribe and share and like the video i would really appreciate it